Selena here at CashewGreens.com. Thank you for watching this video. And I would like to say hello to all my families, my relatives, friends, and classmates in the Philippines. It is 3 o'clock in the afternoon here in the U.S. And I believe it is 3 o'clock in the morning in the Philippines. So magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Sana maligaya kayo diyan at mabuti ang buhay niyo. On to this video, I'm going to teach you on how to make a full-time income from home growing plants. So basically, you will be learning on how to grow plants from seeds and also how to grow plants from cuttings. There are four methods that I will be sharing with you today. today. But I will cover this in a series of video because it takes too long to cover everything in just one video. And I want you guys to watch this series because there are so many important information that we will be covering. But before we continue this video, I'm going to introduce you to one of my book. Uh, this is Backyard Gardening. Uh, how to make 50,000 a year with a one-fourth acre. It is a great book if you are into gardening and you would want to make a profit from the plants you grow. So this would help you. And also if you are uh, just started growing plants, so this might be helping you if you need a quick cash. So I put everything information in this book. I divided it into two parts. So one part is the specializing plants and also uh, how to prepare your plants, especially uh, preparing your seeds in the winter and how you grow your seeds so you can have a, a lot of plants you know when the, when, when the spring comes and also how to specialize your plants that is most important and then the second part is the online marketing if you are good into online so this would you know it would be great for you but if you are uh, not good with online marketing so this book would help you so I will put a lot uh, I will put a link on this video if you need a copy of this book so you can just click the link a lot uh, I will put a link on this video if you need a copy of this book so you can just click the link and also I have an important news for you guys uh, my cashewgreens.com site if you are new visitor so you can visit me on that site and just look around what products in there maybe there are products that you would be interested and also I, if you are new visitors, you will get a discounted on those items that you selected on uh, that you that you get from that product in that site. So leave a comments because I'm going to uh, I want to interact with you guys. I mean, the reason of this uh, cashew greens is that it is a home that I can educate you guys in terms of plants, you know, growing plants, and also I can educate you on how to. Uh, become creative in your gardening and also it is a selling uh, place where you will be learning on how to sell your plants how to stage your plants and who you're gonna who is the buyer so just uh, visit uh, visit my site and I would love to uh, welcome you so let's go ahead and join me to the fog machine there are four propagators that we will be using on this activity and I will cover it in a series of video. I hope you guys watch the video because there are so many important information that we will be covering. On today's video, I'm going to show you on how to propagate uh, steam cuttings using the fog machine. And I will explain it to you how to use the machine and how it works. But this time, I'm going to show you the uh, first the media that I we will be using so I use the GP plug so I would recommend you guys to use the GP plug or the root riot when you do your germination for uh, germinating seeds or you do rooting cuttings so those are the two products that I would highly recommend and I will put all the link on this video so you can just click the link if you need this product so you can just get from there now I will mention it again uh, I know you I have a video on how to prepare your GP but maybe some of you did not see the video so I will explain it to you how this uh, how to prepare your GP so you soak your GP it comes from the dry desk as you can see here so you soak this one in a warm water and soak it in 60 seconds so th those are the time recommended and then when it swell just like this so that means it is ready and then you squeeze the remaining water and then insert in the hole here you insert your cuttings now I use this small one a small JP because I use the fog machine and also I use the uh, small basket and I will show you on how to prepare this uh, cuttings in the fog machine so let's go ahead and prepare our machine done so let's go ahead and set this up okay so this is the cloning machine I use the fog system 
you can buy the heavy duty container at Lois. It's only ten dollars. What is great about this container, as you can see, the lid has of a grid lines, and it is easy for you to cut holes. I self-engineered this system because what happened when I cut holes? I cut two and one eighth holes on the lid, and my knit cup is not the same size of the hole, so it keeps falling down into the water. So what I do? I use the red tape. That's why you see this red tape here to prevent this cup from falling down now how many machine fog machine do you need in this system i would highly recommend you guys to use two fog machine if you only use one it might not be able to distribute all those uh, water particles to all your cuttings so you need two machine so your cuttings can take up water now i would highly recommend you guys don't use chemicals because if you use chemicals it would affect the performance of your machine and your fogs and also it plug them out so use the tap water but i will give you the secret uh, of the system so you can propagate your plants and you can uh, create uh, successful cloning now as you can see here i use the gp plug and i dip the cuttings in a clonix gel because you want your cuttings to rot faster so if you just uh, have them uh, rot their own using their own natural uh, hormone the oxen so it might take a while but if you are doing this one for profit you definitely need a clonix gel to keep uh, to make the rooting faster so use this gp plug you insert your cuttings in here now why are you using this as opposed to just use the cuttings and no gp in here and but if you're gonna use that you have to cut holes in the basket so the cuttings can take up water from the fog machine but if you just go in that route it might give you a lot of problems i have problems last year i had only like 60 cuttings that rooted and the reason the problem was the transplant so when they are rooting when you transplant them into the garden or to the container they have a, a long adjustment but if you you might have to use a chemical to prevent transplant shock but if you use the gp once it's rooted you can just transfer this right away without the movement of the road so this is against transplant shock so i would highly recommend you guys to use a gp plug or use the road riot so you can uh, still use the clonics okay so that is the system works and let's go join me to the table so i can show you how to do your cuttings roses and uh citrus so those are the acid loving plants so you have to combine them to your system you don't need to take cuttings that from the other plants that it is not acid loving plants so let's go ahead and take uh, cuttings from this hydrangea so this is the hydrangea cutting so cut it uh, four inch long and dip this one you cut at the end you have to cut it close to the bud one inch then dip this one in the clonix i would highly recommend you guys to use the clonix gel so dip this one in the clonix gel now here is the uh, the gp plug so i put hole in the gp plug you just insert that in the gp plug now you put in the basket here because you're going to put this one in the uh, fog machine and then i squeeze a uh, remaining water now i use this uh foam this is to keep the steam from uh, falling down so this is to hold the cuttings upright and then make sure that you have to press it down okay just like that as you can see so this one would hold would hold the cuttings and then you have to uh, label them you you label them uh, what kind of plants you're taking uh, cuttings and also when did you take the cuttings so that you can monitor how many days or how many weeks they produce root this is the video for today 
and please share the video to your friends in Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and any other social media. And see you in my next video series. Have a good day. Bye.